Hey y'all, with Thanksgiving coming right around the corner, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Normally, I would make a video a week, post them, and send them out, and you guys could make things if you wanted to, but with the holidays coming up, I figure I'm gonna do a string of videos today, uh, one after the other, and maybe tomorrow if I give out. <laughs> but I'm gonna do those videos all kind of in a row and release them at one time and then I probably won't release for a week or two. Uh, reason being, I figured it would be easier for you if you decided to make these items to have the videos already set up. Uh, if I were, were releasing things the week of Thanksgiving, that wouldn't give you a lot of time to get prepped. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make ham, Ham gravy from scratch, mashed potatoes, corn casserole, cornbread dressing, mac and cheese, divinity, and lemon meringue pie. I've already made a video showing some appetizers, which was the uh, my grandma's sausage balls, my sausage balls that uh, Bisquick stole from her, and um, my nanny's punch, which. You know, those two are, are family traditions and I'm glad to share them with you. I hope you guys enjoy them too. So without further ado, let's cook. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start making our cornbread. Here, I have two cups of cornmeal, half a cup flour, a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of baking powder. and mix. You want to do this ahead of time. You want to mix your dry ingredients ahead of time so they're evenly dispersed and you don't have any lumps. All right. To that, we've got our wet ingredients, which is two cups of buttermilk half a tablespoon of softened butter. I'm sorry, not half a tablespoon, four tablespoons, half a stick of softened butter. And two room temperature eggs that we're going to mix up here. And then we're gonna add that to our dry. All right, so let's add this to our dry. I like to do it in steps so we don't have a lot of uh, lumps and it's easier to work through. This is the same cornbread recipe that I've made before. You can find on my channel if you want a little more in depth. Uh, feel free to look that up. And of course, one can grained corn. All right, so our next step is we've got our pan in the oven. Oven's heated up at uh, 350 because we're also cooking the uh, ham at the same time. So we need to go get our cast iron skillet 
out while it's smoking hot and go ahead and oil the pan and then we're gonna add that to it. All right, to our hot pan, let's add a few tablespoons of oil. What you're trying to do is coat the bottom and the sides of the pan, but you don't want it swimming in oil either. So that's probably enough there. And like I said, you wanna do this in a hot pan so you can get a good crust on your cornbread. So let's go ahead and just dump that right in. All right, now we're gonna take this pan, we're gonna put it in the oven at 350, because again, that's what we're cooking our ham at. We're just gonna increase the amount of time that this cooks. So we're gonna check this in about 25 minutes. All right, so we're back working on the celery. Pardon me if I jump around from thing to thing. I may say some things that I've already said because you're doing all this at once, but we're back on to our cornbread dressing. And what we're gonna do first is we're going to take a stick of butter and we're gonna let that melt in the pan here. And to that is we're going to add one chopped onion and one bunch of celery chopped along with uh, about Let's see. Sage, without two teaspoons of sage. We're gonna add that here to the pan. You can use dry sage here if you'd like. I use fresh sage, it's completely your call. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna cook this mixture until the celery and the onions have softened a good bit. All right, I think it's about soft enough now, so I'm gonna move it off the heat and set it aside until I'm ready for it. All right, so now we've got our mixture cooked off. We've got our cornbread crumbled, which, quick on bread, by the way. We've got three eggs, half a cup of milk in here that we're gonna to whisk together. And I add that to the cornbread mixture. And we're gonna mix that in. And then we've got our mixture with the butter, the celery, and the onions. And we're gonna mix that in as well. I'm gonna 
even this out here on the bottom a little bit. And then we've got two and a half cups of chicken stock. Now, it may seem like it's a little wet, but that's perfectly normal. It's supposed to be almost soupy. We're gonna take this uncovered and we're gonna throw it in the oven at about 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Okay, so here's the final product. This is our cornbread dressing. Our corn casserole, our mashed potatoes, our mac and cheese, and our pineapple glazed smoked ham, and the gravy. I'm gonna put a plate together, let you see what it all looks like together, and then I'm gonna go die somewhere. All right, here's our final dish. We've got our glazed ham, mac and cheese, potatoes, dressing, corn casserole. Hope everybody has a good uh, holiday feast. And remember, celebrate the indigenous. Thanks for watching. And tomorrow, maybe, I'll work on desserts. Thanks, guys. You're still here? Why? Look, I showed you how to make an entire Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know what more you want from me. <laughs> Maybe next week or something, I'll, I'll make some dessert video. But I think you've got enough out of me for this week. Well, folks, time to call a night. Do what you feel or keep both feet out of the wheel. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So till next time. I'm evil. You're not. Get the fuck out and take a plate with you. It's a lot of fucking food.